In this video, I want to talk about things that your calculator won't do. Now, the calculator does a lot of things, but there are things that they won't do that I get asked about a lot. Okay. Now, the first thing that your calculator can't really do is simplify most radicals. And what I mean by that is simplify expressions like square root of 27. Okay. Now, it can evaluate square roots, but when it evaluates square roots, you're going to get a decimal approximation. If you just want to evaluate the square root and get a decimal approximation, that's fine. What you can do on the calculator is you can hit second and then use the square root button. So that is second and then right here for the square root button and type in 27 and hit enter. But it is going to give you a decimal approximation. It's not going to give you the simplified radical that you're looking for. And the truth of the matter is there isn't really a way to do that on this particular calculator. Now if you want a calculator that does simplify radicals, so for example in this case 27 would simplify down to 3 squared of 3, you can use a TI 30XS. Ironically enough, they're, the names are really similar, but they're completely different calculators. Okay, And I personally prefer the TI30X2S. You, you can do this process by hand. And let's talk about that while we're talking about this, since our calculator can't do it for us. If we wanted to evaluate the square root of 27 by hand, what I would do is I would start off with a prime factorization of 27. Okay, so I'm just basically looking for something that goes into 27, like 3. That's going to give me 3 and 9. And then I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to go all the way down until I get a prime factorization with my factor tree. And then I'm going to rewrite it. Okay. And what you're looking for when you're trying to simplify a, a fraction this way is you're looking for pairs of factors if you're dealing with a square root. So in this case, I'm looking for a pair of threes. And for every pair of factors, you can take one of those factors out. The other one's going to go away. So this pair of threes is going to come out of my square root, and it's going to become one three on the outside. And I'm going to have that 3 left on the inside, and that's going to be my answer. Unfortunately, your calculator can't do this. Uh, you're going to have, the only thing your calculator can really help you do here is help you find factors of the numbers that you're dealing with. The second thing that I get asked for is how do you do variables in your calculator? As far as I know, there isn't a calculator that costs less than about $100 to $150 that can deal with variables. Okay. If you have a variable expression like 5x plus 2y minus 12x plus 37y, you're going to have to do the computation, the, the problem, pretty much on your own. Okay. You can use your calculator to figure out the constants part, but you're, there's no way for you to enter variables in your calculator. And if you see like letters on your calculator, those usually represent predefined values. So if you really, really want to have a calculator that does this, um, I would recommend the TI-99. Uh, there are also computer programs that will do this. But if you're in like a regular math class at a college, you're not going to let you use one of those calculators or one of those programs. So you're really going to have to learn to do this part by hand.